Good evening and thanks for joining us here for News 5 at 5. I'm Delon Dillard. And I'm Rob Powers. Three people in custody and tonight U.S. Marshals are trying to track down a fourth suspect in the shooting death of a three-year-old boy in what prosecutors say started as an argument. This is the man they're looking for right now, Devante Parker, a man, woman, and teenager charged with murder appeared before judges this morning. The highest bond in this case, $2 million. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been on this story since it broke last Thursday. Uh, Tara, at least two suspects have serious criminal histories? Yes, the fugitive is wanted for two separate homicides, and I've learned the man arrested was on court-ordered GPS monitoring in an August domestic violence case, according to court records. The boy's family was in court today, according to prosecutors, wanting to make sure he stayed in jail. A show of love and sadness for three-year-old Luis Diaz. Flowers, balloons, and toys lining the edge of a driveway off West 66th and Barberton. Inside court, a prosecutor offers comfort to his family. They asked me to mention to the court that um, they, their life will not be the same. Uh, they are distraught and, um, and they agree with the $2 million bond. A $2 million bond was set for 34-year-old suspect Juan Davis. He's seen on closed circuit, shaking his head. This defendant allegedly with uh, accomplices approached and fired approximately 12 rounds in the direction of the vehicle. Sources tell me the gunshots came from right across the street. That's about 30 feet from the driveway. The prosecutor says four shots hit the car where Diaz was inside with his mother and 11-month-old brother. A 31-year-old man standing outside was wounded. The prosecutor told the judge this started as an argument involving Catherine Treadway and the victim's neighbor. And this defendant allegedly uh, got the co-defendant to come to the press. Treadway wiped her eyes in court, telling the judge she worked as a home health aide. The judge noted Treadway had a 2017 misdemeanor obstruction case out of West Virginia and a traffic case in Cleveland. Her bond was set at half a million. Mayor Justin Bibb expressed his sorrow over the weekend and a call for justice. I'm going to do everything I can as mayor to make sure we bring those suspects to justice and hold them accountable. The U.S. Marshals want to get Devontae Parker off the streets. He's a fugitive in the death of Diaz and a separate Cleveland shooting in May. A 16-year-old boy is also charged with murder and bringing a loaded gun in a car in the Diaz case. Court records show he was on probation after being found delinquent of misdemeanor assault this summer. And Luis Diaz's funeral is on Friday. Again, police and U.S. Marshals are looking for a fourth suspect. There is a reward out for information that would help put him behind bars. The two adult suspects in court this morning are scheduled to be back in court next week. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.